in applying the do the work in front of you, one of the most helpful specific areas I find for work in school in terms of do the work in front of you is especially coming to answering email or messages. If you get email or messages, this often can be a gigantic time waster if you're checking your email on and off all day. I limit my email checking to two or three times per day at most. With many days, I only check my email once. The reason is I don't want to have instant messaging type of conversations via email. I want to encourage people, leading by example, to send me everything in one email, one well thought out full email. That makes it a lot easier to deal with than having these back and forth one line email conversations. I do not get any of my email on my phone. If I want to get it on my phone, I have to manually sync it up and I only have my personal email on my phone that I can manually sync up. I limit my email to my office. And the reason I do that is because email is a gigantic time waster. And the best thing I do to manage email is whenever I go to do it, I go all the way through it. So I'm either, most of the time I'll respond to a message, but if a message is junk or something, I'll just delete it or mark it red and move on. If I have messages to respond to, which I usually do, then I sit there and finish that message as soon as I open it. Because I learned the hard way. When you've got a lot of email, you have to just handle the message in front of you. If you try and juggle messages, your mind will tell you how difficult it is. You've got all these emails to answer. It's exhausting. You looked at that one. You don't know how to respond. It's so stressful. If you open one email at a time and answer that one email, and then you go on to the next email, you answer that one email, you go on to the next one, you'll be amazed at how fast you can roll through your inbox. And when you combine that with the habit of just checking your email once or twice per day, then you can encourage fast and efficient email communications. And this applies to anything such as Udemy messages. I do the same thing with my Udemy messages, same thing with my Udemy questions. Once I see a question, once I read a question, I immediately respond to it. Once I see a message, I immediately respond to it. And I do that by noticing any time I try and switch off. Now, sometimes a response requires switching tasks. For example, if I get an email about something on Udemy, then I have to look and go from that email over to Udemy to check it and come back. And that's risky because sometimes I can get lost between the email and Udemy and coming back to the email, I can get lost in some other tab. So I try and set up my communications where everything's unified. If people want to talk to me about Udemy things, I get them in the habit of messaging me on Udemy. Please don't sit there and email me so that I have to task switch. It's much easier then. All I have to do is respond on Udemy while I'm already on Udemy. That way it's easy to sync everything up. If there's a guy named Aaron asking a question in my Facebook ads course that doesn't have a profile picture or a last name, and then that same Aaron sends me a message, it's a lot easier to deal with than if I'm getting a message via email. So I try and set everything up for consistency as much as possible. Now, I realize you may not be working in a system with quite as much flexibility as I have. I have my own company and I work on Udemy, so I have the ability to set up a lot of things. At the same time, there's lots of things I don't control though. And I don't focus on the things I can't control because if work demands you check your email all day, well, you can't control the expectation your boss has that you have to respond to an email every 30 minutes. There are a lot of things you can control though, especially if you're in school, rarely will you need to check your email more than once or twice per day. And now you can do that by timing it, especially with school. If you notice your emails about things tend to come in the evening, you could check your email at night. Although I recommend checking it in the morning if possible. Because in the morning, I usually check my email as soon as my most critical work is done. Because email gets in the way of critical work getting done. Email uses creative energy. These videos are my number one task. 
So I do these videos before I do anything else, before I check messages, before I answer questions, because I can often answer messages and questions and email effectively when I'm not at 100%, when things aren't perfectly quiet around me. For these videos, I need a good silent time where I'm at 100% full energy. And so I usually do these videos as soon as I wake up, eat breakfast, pray, and then feed the dogs. I usually do the videos then. Occasionally I'll do them after going to breakfast with my wife or something like that if she's home. But usually I do these videos pretty much first thing in the morning. When you sync up your productivity, especially with email and messages, when you minimize the time they take, you'll be amazed at how much extra time you have. And as long as you focus on the choices you do have, as long as you can see what you can choose or what you can do about your situation, then you can have a chance to be more productive. For example, if you have a boss that gets upset if you don't check your email, my wife once had a boss flip out on her because she didn't check her email on Sunday. I would have quit that job a long time before she did. If you have a situation like that, you may need to quit the job in order to have your sanity. You may want to find a job where that's not an issue. I know for me, I enjoy checking what I'm doing most every day, but that's because I only work usually three to six hours every day. So that adds up to a lot less than 40 hours most weeks. And so you might need to make a real change to the things you can control. Saying things like, oh, I can't control this, I can't control that, it takes away from saying what you can control. You might need to get another job in a different section. If you have a boss that makes your life difficult and you can see that through your inability to even be productive with your email, then there might be a good opportunity. So the idea is, that your email and messaging productivity is huge. You can literally waste an entire day just messing around with email and not do anything else. I've wasted lots of days where all day, ultimately what I was trying to do is respond to my emails and then I didn't even get it done. I was task switching all day. And then I felt drained and like I'd worked really hard. So do your best, give it a try and let me know what you think let me know how much faster it is to just knock out your entire messages, all your questions, or whatever it is you have to do all at once without switching to anything else.